Hi, Dave Smith for Officer.com, and I want to talk to you about a really important issue in law enforcement. By now, all of you, if you're a commissioned law enforcement officer, have had lots of training on post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, how the symptoms are going to appear, how you're going to get it after you've been in an armed confrontation, or you're going to suffer from this or suffer from that. Suppose I told you, if I could give you a shot to prevent PTSD, would you take that shot? Well, you know, a few years ago, I had a chance to interview Dr. Sally Satella, an expert in, in curing post-Vietnam stress syndrome. People were, she was told these people were not healable, and she cured them. She healed them. And I asked her, so how would we, is there a way to prevent it? Once you get it, you can get well, but what about preventing it? And she goes, absolutely. There's critical steps in preventing it. And I want to share with this what, what she shared with me. The first off, are you committed to the job? The reason we are in law enforcement. And too often law enforcement doesn't share the reason we exist, the importance we, the roles we play in society, the importance of our tasks. And you've got to believe that what your job is, is so important and what it is is critical to a free society. Believe in your commitment to it. And secondly, train, practice. When you go to the range, when you're, when you're uh, preparing for a supervisor a test or a command level test, the more you prepare yourself, the more you immerse yourself in learning, growing, preparing for the, the job, the profession, the more resilient you are when you've been in a critical situation. And then if you are in that critical situation, what does it mean? Derive meaning from it. Don't sit there and criticize yourself. If you made a couple mistakes, forgive yourself. Move on. Move past it and say, look, here's what I've learned from this. Derive meaning. Why did this guy make us shoot him? Well, you know what? Because some people just are sick. Some people are going to, they're just going to do it. You can't control them. But what the meaning is, is we're going to learn from it. We're going to talk together and see if, if your team had to take down a subject, a suicide by cop, for instance. Then talk about it. What does it mean to us? And that's another thing is, if you're involved in a critical incident, don't hide from your friends. Share with your friends what you feel. And if you're a friend of someone who's been involved in a critical incident, a shooting or other crisis, reach out to them. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to. They said the most important thing that they, they had immediately after the event was that people came up to them, their brothers and sisters in law enforcement, and said, hey, I'm glad you're okay, or I can't wait for you to get back on the job. And they don't don't go up and say something like, "Hey, I'm glad you killed that guy." Just say, "Look, I'm. I, is there anything I can do for you? I'm glad you're okay. Reach out, care about each other. Comradeship is so important. Friendship it's so important. And the final thing is, is don't isolate yourself from your family and loved ones when you've been in a critical incident. Share your feelings. Share if, if that man, that woman in your life that's so important. Your children, you know, again." Bring them, hold them close. You hear that so often. But again, reach out to your family, your mom, your dad, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters. Be part of a family structure. Share how you feel. You don't have to share the incident itself. But again, this is all, this all together works to keep us well and strong. In fact, it's a great way to live your life, period, whether you've got a, a critical incident that has occurred or not. This kind of antidote is, a, is a, literally a powerful antidote for cynicism and all the other negative effects of law enforcement. But it's a great, great preventative for post-traumatic stress disorder. So think about these things I've talked about and practice them. Now, for Officer.com, I'm Dave Smith, and we'll see you again.